Welcome back to VMworld Live 2010, live at theCUBE in San Francisco, California, Moscone Center at VMworld 2010. Please welcome this morning's press conference with VMware, Compellin Technologies, and their customers Heineken from the Netherlands. Speaking today are Todd, is Todd Nielsen, Chief Operating Officer of VMware, Phil Soren, CEO of Compellin Technologies, and from Heineken, the Netherlands, Mike Robers, Virtualization Team Lead, Lucian Dekonik, Project Manager, and now, please welcome Todd Nielsen, the Chief Operating Officer of VMware. Good morning. It's, uh, it's great to be here, and we'd like to welcome you to the Compellent VMware Press Conference. And uh, I want to say a couple words about Compellent Technologies and, and our partnership with them at VMware. They've been a great storage partner of ours, have a number of customers together, a number of our partners, and we really like working uh, with them to drive value to our overall uh, customers and solution set. The um, uh, the one thing that we announced yesterday at VMware at VMware 2010 is that uh, for every dollar of license revenue that VMware sells, we our partners or our ecosystem is able to add on or to drag with that fifteen dollars of ecosystem revenue. And the Compellent folks are a great example of a, a partnership with VMware where our solutions work well together and we do some exciting things. We're going to hear from uh, for the president and CEO of, of Compellent uh, and one of their customers. But before we do, one of my favorite uh, twists of this press conference is uh, a differentiation of Compellent is the fluid data architecture. And I think it's somewhat ironic after last night's beer crawls at uh, VMworld 2010 that Heineken happens to be the customer on stage. So I'm sure there's uh, a story there, and I would uh, like to introduce Phil Soren, the president and CEO of Compellent, to uh, uh, tell us about the company and uh, about the Heineken beer crawls. Great, uh, Todd, thanks a lot. We're just thrilled to be up here on stage with you, being participating in the uh, fantastic show you have in uh, operation here at Moscone in San Francisco, and we're thrilled to have a joint announcement with our customer Heineken here, and to have them come over from the Netherlands to share the excitement with us. But um, let me tell you a little bit about Compellent. We're a uh, data storage company uh, with the fluid data architecture. We've been uh, really the innovator. If you look at primary storage innovation over the last decade, things like thin provisioning, uh, sub-LUN, automated tiered storage, uh, tiering disk platters, uh, flexible volumes, portable volumes, thin provisioning, you look at all those types of innovations over the last decade, that storage has come out in, Compellent has been the leader in that whole space. And uh, I think we've been able to get ahead of some of the incumbent vendors with our innovation, and we've been really fast growing. We grew about 38% year over year last year. We're the, uh, one of the fastest growing sand vendors in the world, and uh, we're hoping to keep that growing. We have about 2,100 customers in uh, 34 countries, Heineken being a good example in the Netherlands. Uh, of those customers there, they're running their mission critical enterprise applications on us for their worldwide operations. And uh, I would say of, of the 2,100, about 2,090 of them are also running some form of VMware. So this partnership with VMware is very, very important to us, and uh, we're, we're real excited about it. Uh, talk a little bit about our patented technology. We call it the fluid data architecture, and we thought no better customer to do a joint press conference with on our fluid data architecture than Heineken. So uh, the ultimate fluid data architecture is the combination of Heineken and Compellent. And uh, our system is so easy to use, that you can actually enjoy a Heineken while you're a storage administrator. So <laughs> we, 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 we like that there. So uh, Heineken Netherlands is our, our customer here. We have uh, Mike Robers and uh, Lucien Dekonik, and uh, we're real excited to hear about their story. They're part of a global enterprise of customers we talked about. We have customers in all industries, verticals, uh, 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 geographic areas. We're announcing, actually this week, we're announcing our expansion of our Australian operations, where we have dozens of customers already, but we're announcing the expansion of our Australian operations. And now let's take it back to the Netherlands, and let's hear a, a real customer story about how VMware Compellent can really uh, cut the, the total cost of ownership in a data center by more than 50% with a combination of our two efforts, and also improve the operational uh, efficiency of those data centers. And let's hear uh, Mike and Lucian to tell us a little bit about it. Great, thank you very much, Phil. I guess I don't have to introduce uh, Heineken as a company itself because we all know what the core business of our company is, brewing beer. Uh, and not only the beer, we, great, uh, we brew great beers and great brands, and that makes us the number one brewer in uh, Europe and the number three uh, in volume in uh, the complete uh, worldwide. Uh, we have over 200 regional and local uh, beers and ciders uh, in total, 
And uh, when we look uh, at our breweries, we have almost in every country, uh, we have a brewery or it's uh, Heineken is deliverable. Um, when we look at the, uh, uh, the international, Heineken International, uh, we're a very large company, almost in every country, as I just said before. And we have uh, 130, brew 140 breweries in uh, more than 70 countries, uh, which uh, is uh, good for a group beer volume of 200 uh, million hectoliters of beer a year. Uh, this includes the ciders. Uh, when we look at the, uh, the Netherlands, we have uh, only uh, three breweries. That's where it all started. Uh, we have uh, 18 million hectoliters of uh, uh, total supply, but we're not drinking it all ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, domestic market is only about 5 million hectoliters, and the rest uh, of the, 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 the volume is going to uh, the USA. So uh, it's all export for us. And that's where all your beer is coming from. <laughs> a nice touch is that uh, we've introduced uh, Heineken Light several years ago. That's especially made for the USA market because uh, we don't drink it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, when we take a look at the uh, virtualization roadmap for Heineken, we started about uh, six years ago in 2004. VMware was the only uh, real player in the market at the moment. Uh, we introduced it when we were, uh, were consolidating our data centers in our main location, Zoetewoude. Uh, we came from about 12 server rooms to one uh, major data center, uh, which we used uh, storage from HP at the moment, and we used the HP uh, Blades infrastructure. And we decided to go for, with VMware for all our DTA environments, so the test and acceptance environment. After several years, it, uh, we uh, grew, outgrew our uh, uh, storage capacity and we needed to upgrade, so we, uh, we changed the EVA with a forklift upgrade so to another EVA. And uh, we also introduced a new version of uh, VMware. Uh, again, a year later, we thought everybody was ready to uh, go to uh, uh, use production. So uh, everyone used the DTA and everyone's confident it should work on production also. So we started with the bronze servers, that were the servers are not mission critical for us. Um, that was a great success. Uh, and last year we started a new project to virtualize every gold and silver system we have. And that means every mission critical and priority system we use for brewing, packaging and distribution. Uh, just the latest news is that last weekend we migrated uh, one of the last uh, warehouse management systems that's also virtualized now and is running perfectly. Where are we going? Uh, we are looking at the end of the year, we're going to vSphere 4, of course. Uh, the main thing and last year we uh, decided to uh, choose for another storage uh, storage uh, uh, solution, solution. <laughs> and we chose compellent um, well this is something where uh, Lucien comes in he can tell about the choice we made and uh, why we did it okay Mike thank you well I will tell you something about uh, the project itself the whole migration and uh, why we choose comp compellent in the first place well, we really needed to uh, look for other solutions because uh, especially in the, the two main sites, Zutewoude and De Mors, we had some serious problems, especially uh, the support costs because after three years you pay an enormous amount of money for support from HP. Uh, also, uh, we had our capacity problems and also experienced uh, uh, severe performance uh, issues in Zutewoude. So that meant that we had to take action uh, fast. Also, we, had, uh, we were stuck on the EVA 5000, uh, which uh, didn't allow us to upgrade to a newer version of uh, VMware. And also, we couldn't use uh, Windows Server 2008, which uh, uh, was very high on, us, on our priority list. Uh, furthermore, business continuity is on the plan for uh, early next year. So we wanted to have a solution which could provide us that. And, uh, also, because uh, Heineken is, uh, has got a new, well, it's not really a project, but uh, 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 the hunt for cash within IT Heine Heineken Netherlands meant that we, we want to uh, reduce uh, IT costs as much as possible. So, and another point, problem was that uh, we had a major issue with reporting from our uh, current SEN infrastructure. Why did we choose for Compellent? Well, it, oper it operates with every operating system. It is very, uh, very important. It's one for the solution that fits really everything. 
uh, that's what we experienced as well during the migration. Uh, we uh, could uh, start with uh, replication uh, early next year, that's also very important. And we needed a high, high performance solution. Um, what it eventually meant, uh, why we cho chose for a compellent, that it's excellent value for money. Uh, the fluid data concept really was uh, a concept that what we can, uh, can use and uh, give us high flexibility. And um, one of the major uh, pros is that the, the excellent reporting facilities is, uh, well, I've never seen a better uh, reporting uh, functionality inside a project such as Copellant. And what is also very important that we got 24-7 uh, proactive support. And that's something you uh, never get for free, so. Uh, okay. Well, as a result, we have uh, at least 60% virtualized. And actually, like Mike said, uh, last week we, uh, we um, uh, went to 61% because we uh, virtualized two more machines. And the speed we are going now, it, uh, it really looks that we are in 2012, we are going to uh, for 90%. And I think it's uh, really feasible. Uh, the number of disks re uh, significantly uh, reduced, which meant lower, um, uh, how do you say that? Lower on uh, power, lower on cooling, uh, lower on rack space. For example, the EVA 5000 costs us one and a half 19 inch rack. And right now it's about 12 U's, so it's a real big difference. Um, the performance we see. Uh, on all layers, not only on the on the Windows servers, but also on the AEX systems, we see an uh, enormous uh, improvement regarding uh, performance. We did have, we did have to do some uh, uh, optimization, but with the support of uh, Copilot in the in the last months, we had an excellent result, and we even have a, a much better performance than we had ever had. So. Uh, and because uh, yeah, we are finally using solid state drives, because we really needed that for uh, a SQL a reporting uh, server, which is very uh, business critical. And uh, in the old, on the old EVA, we, uh, we reached uh, performance for about 20, no, 35 minutes for a report, which needed to be ready before a certain time. And now we even got times uh, under 20 minutes. So let's see uh, how fast it really uh, is. So. Um, we are uh, next week actually the, the final uh, virtual machine will be uh, migrated from the old EVA to uh, Compellent and that will finalize our migration on both uh, breweries and so far no disruption whatsoever so we're very pleased perfect so yeah. that's uh, that's our part of the presentation thank you Somebody talks out of the sky now, right? <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> the, 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 quest, the question was, uh, with all the savings he's got in his data center, can he lower the cost of Heineken beer for everyone? <laughs> a, new, a new kind of Heineken light, then, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah we could do that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not up to me. <laughs> We really want to thank you guys for sharing that story. I mean, it just hit all our bullets about, uh, you know, the future built in, performance, flexibility, uh, fluid data, VMware, Compellent working together. And we're just really, really excited. And we appreciate you sharing your story with uh, our, our, our viewers and our, uh, our customers and our uh, prospects out in the audience here. Thank you yeah, very Thank much. you guys. Thank you. Yeah. We're going to stay live. Okay.